right, this should be interesting. Yo, y'all know the vibes, man. Ten questions that reveal who you really are. Oh, boy. Hope you guys sit tight for this one. It's going to be a long one. Let's check it out. Let's see who I really am. Ten questions that reveal who you really are. You're going to answer these truthfully and honestly, You man. might think you know yourself better than anyone else. But do you know who you really are? Do you? There may be some aspects of your personality that you either subconsciously don't want to accept or don't even notice. Okay. Luckily, this test will open your eyes to your true self. Okay, here we go. Let's see. We have all kinds of fun, informative, and helpful videos like this one on the Bright Side of Life, so be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to stay on top of all our daily updates. Exactly. Make sure you guys subscribe. This self-discovery test has 10 questions. After each one, you'll get 10 seconds to mull over your choice. Come on, man. After you pick an answer, you'll learn what your choice means. If you're ready to find out who you are deep down, then let's get started. 10. What's the first thing you see in this picture? Oh man, I've seen a crocodile. Oh man, I see the bigger picture. <laughs> if you first noticed a crocodile, you're the type of person who sees the big picture. That Yay! could mean that you sometimes take the small details in life, like a walk in the park or a cup of hot coffee in the morning, for granted. I don't drink coffee, but, but that's nice. because there are always bigger things for you to concentrate on. Okay. You're likely to be practical and sensible. Okay. Taking risks isn't your thing. You're a bit on the cautious side when it comes to new experiences. Okay. It's kind of true, if you man. saw a boat right off the bat, this means that you have an eye for detail. People often describe you as creative, attentive, and precise. At the same time, you tend to get too caught up in the small details and miss the big picture. At work or school, you may get engrossed in one part of a project and completely forget about the main task on the whole. Nine. Hmm. Now, what's the first thing you see in this image? Oh, man, come on. I see like a a stand, like a night stand. Oh. If you immediately saw faces, you're pretty people oriented. You're an extrovert, which means you need to change your battery through social interaction with others. You're friendly, communicative, and in most cases, the life and soul of any party. <laughs> That's me, low key, but I ain't choose that. If a candlestick stood out to you, you're more introverted. You often get caught up in your own thoughts. And if you have to choose between staying at home and going out, more Stay often than not, you'll choose the first option. Yo, oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> it's no way. You have a few close friends that you adore, but you mostly enjoy being alone. Yo, that's now, nice. take a look at this oh, picture. Man. Wow. Who would you help first? I ain't going front. I'll help the baby first. To be honest. If you chose to help the guy in crutches, you're a leader by nature. You are organized, practical, and focused on your life and goals. People might find you a bit cold emotionally. If, if you decided to help the crying baby, you're a very empathetic person. Your friends know that they can vent to you about their problems and find peace after such conversations. Sometimes you get too affected by other people's emotions. Be careful that others don't take advantage of you. If you pick the nurse to help out first, you don't worry too much about serious problems. This woman is the only one in the picture who doesn't really need help. So choosing her means you take things that come your way lightly. You're optimistic and always look on the bright side of life. You're a communicative and adventurous person with a laid back attitude. And if your choice was to help the elderly lady, you have high moral principles. Traditional values are very important to you. You respect Hi. elders and the fact that they don't really do you any favor in return shows your selflessness. Bro, I'm probably the most morally high person 
can ever meet, bro. I have strong principles and morals, bro. That's crazy. But I'm not quite understanding how if you help the old guy on crutches, how does that make you a freaking leader, bro? What? Seven. A lot of people nowadays claim to be perfectionists, but are they really? Test yourself by choosing the odd figure among these three. I'm going with gray. If you chose the gray figure, then you are a bona fide perfectionist. Hey, Unlike the playing. others, the yeah. gray one isn't a square, but a rectangle. The next question tests your stress resistance as well as your survival skills. Six. You need to escape from a room and you have three doors to choose from. Behind the first, there's a hitman with a loaded rifle. If you open the second door, you'll find a lion that hasn't eaten in two months. As for the third, there's a raging fire behind it. So, which door will you choose to survive? I don't know, I'll go with the fire. An experienced survivalist would choose door number two. While lions are known to survive without food for as long as a month, Starving for two months would definitely kill the animal. Five. So, fuck me, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna kill myself, right? I mean, I feel like I will... I... Nah, 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 because... You open the door, you see a freaking lion sleeping or whatever the case may be. If you see a lion, period, bro, you're closing the door immediately, bro. I mean, the same thing goes with a fire, but I feel like... If I just, like, run through that shit just to survive, I feel like I can do that. I mean, and then if my clothes get on fire, I'll just, like, just toss them off, I guess. Like, fast. Whatever. I'm just doing it fast. But, like, come on, man. Which coffee are you? An espresso, double espresso, cafe mocha, coffee. latte, cappuccino, americano, iced coffee, frappuccino, or macchiato? Alright, I'm gonna go with ice coffee just because I, I have drunk it before, but I'm not a coffee person. If you're an espresso, you're more traditional and prefer to keep it simple. As Thanks. for you double espressos, work Actually. means a lot to you. You're determined, responsible, and maybe a little impatient. Damn, that's me. If you identify as a cafe mocha, you value beauty, but also practicality. If you're an Americano, you're calm and keep your emotions under control. All you iced coffees out there are confident and honest. You probably also hey. live in a hot climate. Yeah. Oh, no. If you're a Frappuccino, <laughs> you're friendly and outgoing, <laughs> but you're also not comment. opposed to just lounging around the house. If you're a latte, you're very thoughtful, but you can also be a bit uh, indecisive. Mm. If you're a cappuccino, you're independent and logical. At the same time, you can be a bit of a dreamer. If you're a macchiato, you're sociable, energetic, and spontaneous. Four. Let's see, number four. We almost Imagine there, you're scuba diving and suddenly see a mermaid. What color is her tail? The color of the mermaid's tail shows how sociable you are and how oh, well you interact red. with others. My favorite color. If you imagine a mermaid with a bright tail, wow. let's say red, yellow, or wow. orange, this means that you're the type that can talk to just about anyone. Facts. If the mermaid's tail was darker, like green, blue, or purple, you're probably a bit shy. You may be very communicative with your close friends, but you're cautious around people you meet for the first time. Three. To a little bit. Uh, While you're driving, you also notice a fish. What does it look like? Is it friendly and calm, like or aggressive calm. and dangerous? Uh, I don't know. Aggressive? The fish represents the way you tend to resolve disputes. If the fish you imagined is docile and inoffensive, chances are that you can confidently stand up for your opinion and defend the things you believe in. If the fish is a predator like a shark or it looks aggressive, you probably tend to avoid arguments and confrontation. It may be difficult for you to express your point of view clearly. Nah. <laughs> nah, bro. I don't like arguing, so that is facts. 
but nah, bro. <laughs> I'm getting my point across, whether you want to hear it or not, bro. That's it, man. I will do everything to avoid it. Yeah. But when it's time for it, nah. Nah. Two. Nah, you're going to hear what I got to say. You keep swimming and exploring this underwater world. You suddenly spot a beautiful shell lying on the seabed. What does it look like? The shell indicates how open you are towards the people around you. If you imagined a simple flat seashell, it doesn't matter if it's closed or open. It's not hard for you to reveal your thoughts and emotions to others. If the shell in your mind is intricately shaped or has some unusual pattern, you're likely to be more reserved. You aren't a person who easily shares the details of their life with strangers or acquaintances. Hey, y'all not know what it meant. Finally, one, it's time to finish your diving How's excursion. You reach the shore and look around the beach. Are there any people there? You reach the shore and look around the, the beach. The people on the beach represent your a friends. Bit. If the beach is crowded, you're probably a social butterfly constantly surrounded by friends and acquaintances. Not me. If you imagine just a few people on the beach, you might not have a ton of pals, but you cherish your small but close group of That's friends very deeply. That's a fact. And if in your imagination you That's found yourself fact. on a totally empty beach, That's it's probably fact. difficult for you to trust other people. You may be totally fine with having no friends at all. Damn. That's a sad moment. Have life. you found out anything new about your personality? Nope. I already knew all of this stuff. I knew all of that stuff about me, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Nah, but, hey, did you guys find anything new about yourself? Let me know down below. It's good to, like, self-reflect once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we all gotta look into the mirror and see who we really are sometimes, you know, through good and bad. You feel me? You know, it's life. We can't avoid it. We can't change it. But, you know, we are who we are. And that's all what matters. Continue living your life the way you see fit. Have fun. As usual, you know where to find me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out.